When soldiers returned from Vietnam, many of them didn't receive a warm welcome. Now Carthage's American Legion is aiming to rectify that, starting with the parade. With more, here's 7 News reporter Chad Charette. Folks line State Street waving flags and extending a single message to some of America's oldest living veterans. Welcome home. It's, it's tough because it's not enough. The parade was meant to mend old wounds since, at best, many soldiers were received with indifference 50 years ago. At worst, they faced vitriol from the public. We cannot correct what we failed to do in the past, but we're just trying to let them know that they are welcome home. Many of them were barely out of their teens at the time. I went into service in 1964, 17 years old. Diaz was one of about a dozen Vietnam War veterans who took part in the parade. He tells us it feels good to finally be recognized. When I came back in, from Vietnam in 1968, it wasn't like this at all. It's, uh, it took years. And uh, then it took a lot, lot longer for me to come around. For others, those 50 years still sting. And it's kind of 50 years too late, but at least somebody's trying to get some recognition out for us now. So, all good. And for the younger soldiers who took part in the parade, it was a chance to learn from their elders. I always hear about it in school, learn about it, but I've never actually had to witness it myself. And I'm very honored to talk to them and learn about their stories. Carthage American Legion Commander Janice Gravely says she hopes this parade becomes a yearly event. Wednesday at 11 a.m., the Legion will host a Veterans Appreciation Ceremony at St. James Church. Chad Charette, 7 News.